All right, we're back. We're playing Super Auto Pets. You know how it is. Had some great runs lately. We're on pay to win. No, thank you. Don't forget to run the casino. Yes, many people are saying this. The channel was a sucker and his channel points are soon parted. Will and I'll get more than six wins or more. Yes, no. One minute submission period. Okay, we're ready to go. Arena mode. Are blub blub. <laughs> All righty. That's pretty good. That's a good start. Um, you know what? I can't. <laughs> I'll just be the. I'll be the folded wigs. No, no, I refuse. I refuse. Owns, owns. Easiest win in my life. I mean, three fish shop is just incredible. You add a couple of ants on top of it, you're feeling pretty, you're feeling pretty good. <laughs> right? Early game, fairly sorted. No question there. We might end up rolling a, a, a four, or dare I suggest, even a three squad Marty. Next round, but we'll see. Turtle kind of pog. Honestly, giraffe is kind of pog. Giraffe. Yeah, that's good enough. Four squad, Marty. This, we, we could lose this round, but I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, this is like, we're bisoned up to the freaking gills, man. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of cracked. Did you see the value we got on that trade? Okay, it was not even close. I don't really want a flamingo when a swan would do. This is insane. Like, this this team is incredible. It's a spicy turtle. A little 2-3 turtle never hurt anybody. I mean, it, 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 it hurt the peacock. That's why it got a little stronger. This ant is insane, man. <laughs> it's out of control. Okay, I'll take an ant. I don't really want to kill anybody on the squad for this little team right here. Um, I don't, on freeze meat, we want garlic, really. You're, you're tempting. You're close. You know what? If we're putting you at the back, let's roll it like that. You could do worse. You could do worse. YouTube title. The strongest ant? The most cracked shop of all... Wait, what I actually... My methodology for... Uh, YouTube video names for Super Auto Pets is legitimately just like, I go to Twitch, I find like a, uh, a, a quote in the video, and then I just make that quote the title. <laughs> you think the weather's bad where you live? Bison? We're praying for bisons here? Okay. It's, it's still really good. I love a penguin, man. Wonder no longer. Do you think NL shaves his head more often than his face or vice versa? Wonder no longer. We're going to lose this one. I shave them both the same amount at the same frequency. Bison? Because... Little little time saving tip for you. I shave them at the same time. I mean, in the same session, at least. Level two penguin next turn. Okay, I'm, we could even lose this one, but I'll feel I feel good after that. That's insane. You already got a, a um. You already got um um a, a butterfly. All right, now I'm feeling better. Very nice. I don't want to get rid of this turtle, man. Alas. It was either turtle or swan. Honestly, take a swig. 
drink the whole damn gallon for all I care. Nah. Nah. Yes. Okay, you go here now. Level 3 meta isn't going to work. You may be right, and above all that, I may be crazy, but one thing I've always said is that I might just be the lunatic you're looking for. Thanks, Billy Joel. Imagine a world where instead of Billy Zane, Derek Zoolander was friends with Billy Joel. Then Hansel could say, you should listen to your friend Billy Joel. He's a cool guy. He just wants what's best for you. All right, we just got destroyed. What a wonderful world that would be. We're not on lethal yet. I'm not crying. You're crying. A level three fish. Or a yet-to-be-born Billy Elish. Yo, that's fucked up. Billy Elish is younger than Zoolander? Take one of these. That's for mouth. Anytime I buy a chili pepper, it's for mouth. Yo, yeah, maybe I pronounced her name wrong. The important part is she's younger than Zoolander? What about Doja Cat? Older or younger than Zoolander? Ah, oh, shit. Doja Cat, younger than Zoolander? Older than Zoolander. Older. She's 26. Old ass. Sorry, it's just nice for me to be able to say it once. Okay, you know what? Steak penguin. You know, it's a, a one up ant is actually kind of a sick idea. I like that idea. I never thought about it because I rarely have a level three ant. Get staked, get staked. Hold on, we're pogging, we're back. Out, am I? Aren't you like 42? And that, that kind of toxicity and from a believer, no less. That hurts. What a, you know, chili's kind of sick though. You know, I'm, I'm happy where we stand. I don't want steak bison. I want melon bison. I'm just clicking the button. I'm lost. I did nothing. <laughs> I wish I was 42, man. Because if I was 42, oh, man, it would be the year um, 2030. Yes, that's correct. Many people are saying this. And who knows what the S&P 500 would be at by then. Maybe, maybe 6,500, maybe 7,000. Oh, man. <laughs> could, be, could, could be looking mighty fine. Nah, the water wars? Yeah. Boeing's in this, the S&P 500. We win these? Level 9 win. I mean, we we have 9 wins is what I meant to say. <laughs> You're not out yet. I thought about putting a scorpion in here. You're not out yet. You know what? You should have bought a swan. This squad is kind of insane, huh? Full stack of level threes. Steak penguin. The quintuple triple. So true. Um, My melon armor. Oh, easiest win of my life. Look at that. 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 Full level three squad, 10 wins. Look, I'm not gonna say that that one goes out to the person who said it couldn't work. Cause like, I, it really looked like they were right for a period there and I lost my belief completely, but it still got us there. We'll run the predictions back. Scammed? I, 
I paid out the doubters. It's too late. It's on the blockchain. You can't, you can't pull it back. Blundered. Blundered. <laughs> the integrity of the game. Those were my Christmas points. Dude, can we just... Twitch, is, isn't there an option to just print money? Like, I, I feel like any time that happens, I should just be able to give everybody watching like 100,000 channel points. Who cares about the inflation? You can't even use the points for anything. We might as well just give out more so people can still bet. That being said, like, oh man, the doubters... You're welcome. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It it happens. Um, I don't, I just apologize. I got nothing else to say. Sometimes I'm I, I click too fast. I apologize. Okay, freeze me a honey. We're gonna get back to it. We're gonna get back to it. I guess this one you gotta roll horse, fish, little pig at the back. Be the bumbling. Buttocks? Speedrunner brain syndrome? What, because I'm like so smart that like I go fast because I'm so good at thinking? Yes, I knew it. I knew it. And I am reaping all the benefits. 3-2 horse. I, I don't like this team. For the record. But I do be using them. It's a little strange. <laughs> Why would that be better? <laughs> Just think for two seconds. What is this team? It's all one HP. Oh, no. Oh, we draw. Okay. I thought you won. Where are my points? There was a robbery. Don't worry, your points are FDIC insured. Amazon HQ should be returning them any day now. You know what? Just, just pog him up. Who's going to tell him? <laughs> I feel bad. Like, the points actually don't mean anything. But, like, as someone who's gone all in and lost it all on, on Chib stream, but, like, I, I genuinely just bet on the thing that lost. But, like, not being able to bet is the ultimate punishment. Okay. I was about to modify so many emotes. So true. Ah, uh, well, nevertheless. Um, you know what? You're gonna get garlic later. For now, give me a giraffe with meat on it. This team is, it fucking sucks, by the way. Whatever, man. Just click the treasure chest. You'll be back in no time. Son of a... I don't want to sell the otter, because I'm, like, heavy on the copium strats right here. I believe we're gonna get more otters, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna love it. What did I tell you? You know, I know I just bought you, but the snail was better than like my ultimate plan. We don't need to keep the pill frozen, I guess. We can come back, man, we can come back. Are you streaming tomorrow? I, I honestly, as of right now, don't know. It's just the, the simple answer. I'll talk about it tonight. We'll figure it out. Look at this pig, man. It's such a good pig. Like, Kramer wants to free it from the hospital. Did you get anything for the baby for Christmas? Yeah, but you better not tell her. My my parents got her some uh, some Elmo themed stuff. I'm excited to see how she feels about that. 
I'm hoping she's she's going to pog up. Like every day when I pick her up from daycare, she's first she goes like this. She's like, you're my father. And I'm like, yes, you're my daughter. And then the next thing she says, I, I kid you not, she goes, Elmo. And I'm like, I'm on my way. Look, I got to put you into the car seat. And then we got to go home. And then I got to take you out of the car seat and carry all the stuff upstairs with you. And then we can put Elmo on the on the screen it's very cute though i guess we're buying a level two horse man i guess we're buying a level two horse that's that's what that's the world we're in right now it's very cute i don't think she grasps most of the uh the elmo content but when letter of the day comes on oh my god she goes nuts man she goes, she goes sicko mode. <laughs> Why are you rolling the snail on this team? I'm still, I'm still shooketh from the previous, uh, when I paid out the wrong side, man. I'm, I'm still shaking. And I'm still getting headshots. She, she loves the letter of the day. I mean, on, I've been saying it. Like, I probably ad nauseum, but uh, Sesame Street legit goes hard. Don't even talk to me about, like, Blaze and the Monster Machines. You f Give me one of these. You never know. Nobody deserves this chocolate. <laughs> Nobody's earned it. Welcome to the squad. You, we just traded for you. You you just got promoted to captain. That's like a slap in the face. That was like when the Canucks got Mark Messier and he forced them to uh, strip Trevor Linden of the captaincy and then give it to him. There's a, a betrayal on levels never before seen. Holy crap, we lose these? <laughs> yeah, okay. This time, pay out the doubters like for real on this one. We, we went down. That, honestly, choose outcome, no. I'm not paying out the, but look, two wrongs don't make a right, okay? Two wrongs don't make a right. We're running it back. Because not all believers were believers last time. Some of the believers that were there were doubters last time. I can't do that to them. Love this. Love this team. Be the slippery scallywags. Garlic pork do be kind of good, though. Dude, I'm in like a cooking rut. Every time I cook, all I want to cook is Mexican food. But like not like a diverse cohort of Mexican foods. Like literally just like tacos and quesadillas. It's not really like a problem. No. No! But like I like to have a more diverse menu. I mean, you can make like, you know, you could just make like taco ingredients and then place them onto rice or something. That would also be fine. But like, I don't know, I got to mix it up a little bit. But like the my problem I guess is that like I know other foods, but I just don't want to make them because the Mexican food tastes the best. So why would I waste my time? <laughs> Seems like a pretty foolish thing to do to just deliberately make like worse food. You know what? I, I love the idea of a level two flamingo. I don't know if I love the reality of it. Yeah, maybe pill two ants next turn? Maybe maybe I'll pill two ants next turn. I don't know. It's good soup weather. Oh no, it's it's me. It's me. I'm I'm toasted. Well actually that was pretty close. 
Should make a world foods tier list. Don't hit the ant. Oh my god. Why would you do that to me? Squirrel? After, after everything we've been through. You toss me a squirrel. I'm buying a badger just to have it. Like if we have to roll this squad. Oh my god. People, they, they take their food very seriously and with good reason, I would say. But uh, I, I would never do like a world food tier list. I think, I think it, there would be tiers. Interesting. But that being said, I, would, I can tell you my preferences. I, I love uh, uh, some Mexican food for sure. You can gatekeep me. I'm pretty much just talking about tacos and taco adjacent foods. Honestly, I think I really like some like because I'm not like other gamers. I'm like a cool gamer. I like some foods that some people would probably consider, if not gross, at least not like what you would normally think of as like your your first favorite cuisine. Like when Gordon Ramsay in that one Kitchen Nightmares episode when he goes to the Danish restaurant, he's just going off about Danish food. And I was like, buddy, relax. You're from England. Like, honestly, relax. Like he was eating like pickled herring and stuff. And he's like, oh, dreadful. It tastes like uh, oh, the bottom of a live well. And I'm like, it's pickled fish. If you don't like it, that's like a different thing than this restaurant is bad. We wish to have a bison, then we will get our fish. I really don't want to see this flamingo go for nothing. Bison on me. The believers, we, we got a chance here. We got a chance. I, I like um, Korean food a lot. The take that, I wouldn't say it gets me in trouble. I like Korean food a lot. Japanese food, I like, but probably not as much as the average person that likes Japanese food. And maybe this, maybe I'm causing problems for myself here. But whenever people are like, you know, I love Japanese food. I'm like, okay, so you like sushi and like, come on, what's next? I love sushi, don't get me wrong. But like, what, it, ramen? Okay, dude, ramen's kind of goaded for sure. Katsu? Yeah, but you can get katsu. Like, you can get it. It's not like, you just go to KFC. <laughs> That's not really a fair comparison, I would say, but... Look, what I'm realizing is that all the shit that you're saying is so good. I'm like, oh yeah, right, that's really good. Yeah, I, I really like Japanese curry too, honestly. So you kind of got me, you know, pinned between a rock and a hard place here. Okonomiyaki? Yeah, but like, if you don't live in Japan, you really, you find a place that has Okonomiyaki near you? Maybe, I guess. I prefer the, the Korean food, just just calling it like I see it. By the way, believers win. I like, um, I love the Korean soups. I love the Korean uh, bokum bops and the dup bops, a little jayuk dup bop, a little kimchi bokum bop. I like the jigae's. I like the tongs. I like I like them. Um, I like a lot of it. There are some that I do not like. Um, like I've talked about it. Like bude jigae. I'm like, eh, not really. Come on, something something better, dude. Something better. There's got to be something better than this. Come on, you're gonna make me roll a cow. What the f mm. 
Like, I, I am not a fan of Bude Jige. I don't really like Doc Bulky, but I think it's... I don't, I don't mind Doc. It's the bulky part where they lose me, to be honest with you. It's like if I could get the... That's such a cheap win. If I could get the the duck and hold the bulky, I'd be more into it. This is Jerry Seinfeld in South Korea. You gotta go. You're next to... You're the weakest link. Goodbye. Yes. Still rolling a cow, I've noticed. Now we're talking. Bit of a meta build, but never hurt anybody. <clears throat> Double turkey. So crazy it just might work. Just kidding. And we haven't even talked about the greatness that is Korean barbecue. Like, they, they got it figured out, man. They got it figured out. They got some great foods. No question there. Okay. Welcome to, welcome to the self-buffing monkey universe. The only, I don't know if anybody else is out there with me, but Kate and I talk about this, like, literally... Oh, we're fucked. <laughs> Kate and I talk about this anytime we have Korean barbecue here. Vancouver's got like some pretty sick Korean barbecue setups, but you get nickeled and dimed on the uh, on the lettuce. I'm not like, oh, I don't want to be one of those guys, you know, that's like in Korea, wah, 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 everything's like this and wah, wah, wah. But like when you get Korean barbecue in Korea, they give you like free lettuce and they give you a lot of it. I don't know about this fish, man. I honestly, this is the damn squad. <laughs> what the heck? But here, like sometimes they'll give you like a couple of lettuce leaves for free or you can like buy a lettuce set to go with your Korean barbecue. And then there's like six leaves of lettuce and you're like, come on, man. Like the lettuce is, is a very principal part of the, of the Korean barbecue experience. I don't mind the, the, obviously the meat and the samjang and the kimchi and the garlic and the onions and the, and the ya and the ya and the ya. But when, when they're so stingy with the lettuce, I'm like, it's it's a bad look. Just say you're stingy and move on. What do people say to pressure people into doing what they want them to do? You're over. I feel like I've played the same team 50 times here. Wow, we just we just got 10 wins again. <laughs> We'll take it. 10 wins. Pay out the believers. <laughs> yes, okay. I actually thought I clicked the wrong uh, one. We'll put one more in this video, then we can slash marker it. This can work. I don't love it, but you know, like it's, I prefer it to the to what would have happened, which is like a, a perspective shop reroll that gave us Otter Duck Horse and we would have been just as disappointed. The leaking masseuses. Oh, new casino, sorry, sorry, new casino. I mean, I'm not, I don't wanna also get made fun of, but like, you know, we order from Chipotle somewhat frequently. I'm not saying it's the best Mexican food on the planet. Like, it's decent. I think from my Canadian taste buds tell me it's decent. Um, I was on a different wave last night. We got two burrito bowls. I ate my burrito bowl in like six minutes. Kate was like, I'm not that hungry. I ate the leftover sushi. Do you want to have the rest of mine? There was like 80% left. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hoovered it in. I was something was something was was broken inside of my gut yesterday. Afterwards, I was like full, but I wasn't disgusted. I was just like, eh, I'm pretty full. 
This is okay. I think. Source dude, just trust me. Chipotle's resident sleeper. Look. There, the Mexican food situation in Vancouver has gotten a little bit better, but it is still cheaper <laughs> to get Chipotle than the half-decent restu uh, Mexican restaurants. And also, like, I mean, there's something to say about consistency, you know? I always, I know what I'm gonna get. Every animal in this squad is anus except you, so take it. What's in your burrito bowl? I'm, I, I know that this is a weird one to, to order uh, a burrito bowl and then get the grilled chicken as the protein, but it, it's the way I live my life. And I'll thank you not to criticize me. Um, brown rice, romaine lettuce, fajita vegetables, whatever the heck is in that mix. You know, it's like sauteed peppers and, and onions. The The... Default red salsa plus the green tomatillo salsa. Little bit of whatever the, the cheese that doesn't cause an upsell. <laughs> I think that's basic. Oh, uh, yeah, black beans. Well, I mean, pinto beans would be fine, too. I got nothing, got nothing against pinto beans. It's really just like whatever one's first on the list. Both beans? That's an upcharge here. Not much dog was upcharged with you. Please send the horse to the glue factory. <laughs> At some point it'll be warranted, but right now it's uh it's a 4-3, man. With a little upside. I'm not a brown rice hater. I I used to think that it was the rice you ate when you wanted to like pretend to be you know, caring about your health. But when I started to pretend to care about my health, I started eating brown rice instead of white rice. And I was like, yo, this is legit just like better in some circumstances. Well, now we can never get rid of the horse. It's so early for a hippo that I think we can do it and just, just build it. Sorry. We got to start here just to... No, 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 no. That's the plate. Now, freeze. Freeze. It's a hassle to cook. I don't cook it. <laughs> I, I just get it. I just receive it. Owns. Rip Bozo. This man's got a horse and a snail. It is kind of... It's a little insane. It's not a typical squad. On the other hand... Sometimes the atypical can produce atypical results as well. In a good way. I love it, man. I love it. Big money, big prizes. I love it. All right, that's a problem. We draw these. It's not even better for you unless you're constipated. I will say I'm a I'm a noted We got to buff the hippo. I hate to say it, we got to buff the hippo. The seal's interesting, but I'm a noted fiber enjoyer. Many people are saying this, but I will also acknowledge that people overrate just like vitamin C People overrate, like, the impact of fiber on, like, your life. Like, if you ever have, like, a bad poop, people are like, you gotta eat more fiber. I'm like, bro, I, the fiber intake is just fine. Trust me. I just got some kind of weird enzymes going on down there sometimes. <laughs> people always think that, like, like fiber and vitamin C are the, the two most critical components of, like, a human being's diet. Is actually taurine. All the eens, really. This feels okay.
B vitamins? I don't know if I could even B vitamins, dude. I'm just like a guy. I would love it if this hippo could, like, do something more. It's not its fault. It just needs, like, some help. That's helpful. Like, could, like another one of it would be so good. Thank you. You don't even want to get... There, a lot of people here are probably relatively new. Maybe Super Auto Pets has brought you around. Maybe Toy Baseball brought you around. I, anytime people talk about either milk or orange juice, I go off, man. I go... I'm, I don't really have like a... It's like I don't make my life center around this opinion. But... I have a strong opinion that I would be happy to tell you, and that's like the, the orange juice lobby and the milk lobby have done like irreparable damage to the Western idea of what like healthy food is. Like, I'm not suggesting milk is bad for you, by the way, pay out the believers. But the idea that it's like a health food drink because it contains a lot of calcium is, is insanity. To the point that you, if you're a non-milk drinker, you get gaslit constantly. People are like, you oh, you, I, maybe they, eh, I don't know. I think we did the right thing, actually. People are like, you know, oh, you didn't drink milk as a kid? How many times have you broken your bones? And I'm like, zero. And they're like, oh, well, in that case, have you ever uh, been outside? And I'm like, on occasion, but you kind of got me on that one, just to be honest. It's a good team. Like, it's, it's not a health food. Again, I'm not saying it's bad for you. But, like, if you're drinking eight glasses of milk a day, you're going to notice. <laughs> okay, we already paid out the believers. Let, let's get interesting, okay? Let's try something like that. Let's see if this hippo can pop. Very interesting. And then um, orange juice... Again, it has some nutritional quality to it, right? Like, it, it's not devoid of nutrition. Oh, wow, you got me. It's not devoid of nutritional value. But the idea, like, when people think that you've got to drink it for breakfast because, like, the vitamin C helps you get your day started. Nah, man. I know you, there, there's probably, like, I bet... 200 people watching this right now are like, I've got to drink my orange juice in the morning because I need those vitamins. It's just the sugar. You're just getting, I don't want to say addicted, but like the reason you're getting the energy burst is not because of anything to do with vitamin C. It's just because of the sugar. 